Hello, I will show you how to use ADB to connect to your LD player. First of all, you should go and download uh, LD player if you don't have it and then install it. And then uh, you want to do any kind of hacking with LD player, make sure your LD player is uh, rooted. So to root your LD player, all you need to do is go to the settings and then under other settings, uh, you should enable root permission. And secondly, you should also enable ADB debug by clicking open connection here. So I already enabled this as well as this, so I don't have to redo it again. Second thing, you need to download your platform tools from this uh, website. Uh, the uh, Microsoft, not Microsoft, the uh, just go to search, download SDK over here. SDK platform tool, just search for platform tools and you will get this link. And over here, download the SDK <coughs> platform tools for Windows. After you have downloaded that, you unpack it and put it <coughs> in a proper directory. For example, uh, hacking Android in D drive. You unpack it here. For example, here I downloaded this and I unpack it and I put it here. Then you set a new environment variable to point to this directory so that your command line, this is your command line, will know where to find the ADB tool. So just copy this uh, path and then open your search, window search, key in environment, then select edit the system environment variables and then you should able to see the environment variable edit box. Let me try that again. All right, here it is. So click on this one for the whole system. And then instead of this one on top, this is only for the single user. If you want to apply this setting for all users on the PC, then you should go to the bottom one, system variables. And you look for the path environment variables and you click edit. And then click on new. And then paste your path that you have pasted that you copied just now. So once you've done that, just click OK. You just press enter and then you can move this all the way up to the top. This is optional. But I prefer to have it at the top so that I can see it straight away. So now I have two similar ones. I don't need two. So I just delete one and click OK. So once you've done that, make sure you close your shell, command line shell. If it's open, you have to close and reopen so that you can read your new environment variable. And then to connect to your LD player, make sure your LD player is already running. All you need to do is type ADB and then you want to list all the devices, your all your emulators, press enter and you will see your list of devices. The first one is offline. This is coming from the original Android Studio and I did not run that one, so it's offline. The second one is online, emulator 5554, which is your LD player. To connect to your LD player, you would type something like this. ADB dash S to select the device. S is for selecting the device. So after selecting a device with the dash S uh, dash S uh, option, then you type the command shell to open a shell. So you press enter, immediately you get a shell. It means a root shell as you can see. The hash sign means you are root. Why? Because you enable root 
over here just now you enable this uh, root so that's why when you connect to it you are root <coughs> and you also can confirm it by typing the command who am i and you see you are root then you can do all the linux commands as you can see then to quit and close the shell and go back to your host uh, operating system just type exit and you're back so that's all uh, for this uh, video on how to connect to your LD player using the ADB platform tool, or also known as uh, Android device bridge. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe and share and like.